Thank y'all for tuning into the Josh Terry Podcast. I want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors. Thank each and every one of y'all. Today's show, I don't know what to expect from it yet. Uh, guys, all I can do is tell you to sit back and fucking enjoy because uh, I'll be real me and this guy. I found him on social media. He liked one of our posts. I went and looked his stuff up. I saw his following. Saw how he puts out music. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's see what this guy's about. And uh, the first couple conversations we've had, I really don't know where this one's going to go. So I'd like to introduce y'all to uh, to Cody Wolf. What's up, dude? What's going on, man? Thank you for having me on here. Yeah, anytime, dude. Um, Yeah, I'm interested. I thought about... you were Cole Swindell. Like, your voice, when you called me on the phone, I thought you were Cole Swindell. I ain't going to lie. I was like, dude, he's got, like, the similar voice. Like, well, that accent. Where you come from? Yeah, South Georgia, dude. I think Cole's from around here, too. Statesboro is where he reps, and I'm not but about an hour and a half away from there. Hell yeah, I'm going to start interviewing you. Go I, ahead. Hear, I hear you. Where the fuck are you from? <laughs> Parts unknown. Parts unknown? Yeah, no, I'm from the, I'm from the back uh, back hills and the backwoods and the back country of Connecticut. Connecticut. I got you. I, got, I don't I think you're the first person we've had on the show from Connecticut then. Yeah, it's, it's mainly, uh, I know a lot of good old boys on the show. They're not from from around here. <laughs> <laughs> i got you dude i got you uh well i got I, I just got to ask you before we get started with this and like wholeheartedly i don't know how many of my shows you listen to probably none uh but like i'm a straightforward ass dude and there's been like the stuff that you've posted on instagram and tiktok and that shit or whatever you you kind of have me perplexed like i i'm still trying to figure out like who cody wolf is like I, I need, well, I, need it, I, I need some more insight. I need to know, like, is this you I'm looking at on social media? Of course, it's me. Like, you see anybody else? It's like, it's it's me. I ain't no AI freaking <laughs> avatar. This is this is the real fucking Cody Wolf you're talking to. Yeah, and you got to take like the regular classes in high school. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just making sure before we got into this too much, you wasn't touched by the tism. Uh, not really. Not recently. Not recently? Not I recently. Got you, <laughs> I got you, man. Uh, yeah, because some of the stuff that I've seen where you've posted, I, I've been trying to figure out. Like, I'm a good old boy from South Georgia. I ain't never been on a fucking jet before. I ain't never been on my own private jet or yeah. paid $1,000 for a meal. And I'm just like, I feel like I should know more about you. I feel like that if if you're if you're at this part of uh how do I put this this part of your career where you got that making that kind of money, like I need to be doing what the fuck you're doing, dude. You want to know what I'm doing, man? Yeah. What What are you doing that I'm not? I go to the bar every fucking night. I eat as much fried chicken as possible and drink as much beer as possible. I got you. So that, that's that, the secret to life. That's the secret to success right there. You want to know? That's it. And just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like there's more there. Like I, I feel like I could eat there's all the more fried, there. I feel like I could eat all the fried chicken and drink all the beer I want, and I'm not gonna be taking pictures on a jet. How'd you end, <laughs> how'd you end up on that fucking thing? How how did I uh well I had a song that did really good and it actually paid off. For once, and I said, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to chart in this jet." Well, you, you say so you actually charted that what from show to show or something? No, just just to my house, you know, waking up, decide I want to charter a jet, just fly in a big circle, you know, fly home, go to the uh -huh. grocery store. 
Oh, I got you. Go to the I... grocery store. You know, who the fuck wouldn't want to go to the grocery store in a private jet? If you could just wake up one day and just be like, all right, I'm just going to take off and then go to fucking Publix. Wouldn't you do that? Wouldn't you just like me like, yeah, fuck yes. No, nah, I'm a good old boy. I don't waste fucking money like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I could probably have spent the money you spent on that on something way more productive. Getting some shit done at Publix over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, Filling yeah. a whole shopping cart full of beer. I got you. Well, let's go back. What song did you have that did so good to where you could afford a fucking private jet to go to Publix? That's the song I'm talking about. Don't blame your drunk on me. It, uh, it fucking it fucking like blew up and it made me a ton of money. I said, "Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna charter my first jet and hold it on, paid what, off." Hold on, let, let's check it out. What, what's the name of the song? Don't blame your drunk on me. Don't blame your drunk on me. Okay, yes, when you say when you say blew up, what does blow up mean? I, I ask this for everybody: why what they consider viral? What do you consider blowing up? Well, I was in a shit ton of jukeboxes all over the place, so I got paid for that. And then I got paid for the uh, for the streams, and then I outsourced a bunch of uh, these third-party media uh, agencies. So it, essentially, it did really well. Uh, yeah. It was also licensed uh, via Empire, so Empire took it and had their way with it and kind of made me some money. Back in 2022. Back in 2017. <laughs> oh, 2017. That must be a, a newer video yep. that I'm sitting here seeing. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. SoundCloud. Stream Cody Wolf, Don't Blow Your Drum on Me, played over 320 million times. Is that right? That's what that, That's what this is. That says it's four years ago. More famous than I ever thought I was. You had a song that got played 320 million times. Hey uh, Jerry, how much time we got here? I got a I got a, a meeting on my jet. I kind of gotta go grocery shopping. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You'll have to you'll have to fucking show me somebody's in that room with you before I believe that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. It says right here on SoundCloud as I'm fucking looking it up. It says 320 million. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, hey, whatever. Um, I guess people got a different taste in music than I do. But you're doing country music, so I can't fucking hate you all that much. I don't much care for people that, you know, take pictures in jets and in front of Lamborghinis and thousand dollar meals and then post it on their Instagram as if it was theirs. Yeah, I'm a damn songwriter. Look, it's mine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've been around some songwriters. They don't, they don't much do that. I, I got some buddies who's got several number ones, and I've never seen them take a, a fucking jet to Publix, boss. Really? No, yeah. no one. No one has. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Let, let, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go to your Instagram. Let's. I, I was checking it out earlier. By the way, let me tell you that Cody's Instagram real fast. In case any y'all want to check it out, it's Cody Wolf Music. C O D Y W O L F E Music on Instagram. I I was sitting here and I was just trying to figure out. Like, I'm I'm newish to Nashville. I've been there about four or five years coming and going back and forth between my studio in Georgia and up there. Uh, and let me tell you, like I just, there's a certain people you miss. Some people fall through the cracks. Some people are more successful than, uh, than you realize you can sit next to a fucking number one songwriter and not know it. And you might just be one of those people that have like kind of fell through the crack that I don't know, but like, I just don't see on your social media where like these numbers add up. I, d I just don't see like the private jet money. I don't see like the stadium tours. I don't see, I just don't see that shit. I'm trying you to make, to I'm, trying to make I'm trying to, to make, I'm trying to make a jet to go to Publix. Are you what? kidding me? You don't need no stadium tour to charter a jet to go to Publix. Yeah. I, I think if you's on a stadium, you don't tour, you didn't just wake up one day and say, I want to go to Publix. Yeah. I just, I, I see, you know, my buddy, Trey uh, Lewis, by the way. So he's a good friend of mine. Uh, yeah, dude, I just, okay, well, let me ask you, like, even your, your profile picture, CMAs, like, the way that you put this on here, great night for country music, even better for Trey, Cody. Trey, Wolf. listen here, listen, listen here, Trey Lewis is overrated, he doesn't have a jet, all right, all right, continue, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, I'll tell you this, 
Trey Lewis is actually fucking talented. Uh, that's, Are you that's, there? Where, that's where I'm trying to figure this out with you. Yeah, it is. I, I don't want to know what bone in his body he's got talent in, man, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's what my buddy. Uh, one of the first times I ever heard him sing was at the listening room, and I was like, this guy's got it. And then that stupid ass song, Dick Down in Dallas, came out and uh -huh. it blew him up. And everybody knows him because of it, but he's so much more than Dick Down in Dallas. And uh, I'll guarantee that dude's got more fucking talent in his pinky finger than you probably do in your whole body. Up you are, you fucking asshole. Are you fucking to me? <laughs> Give me a break, dude. I'm serious. How, how, uh, okay. Up it, yours. It, do you up use, yours, dude. Do you use auto tune? What? No. Well, you ought to. Um, Cause just listen to I listened to some of this shit beforehand. Like I listened to it and I was like, is this dude fucking serious? I think everybody wants to know, like, is is this a gimmick? Is this Cody Wolf or is Cody Wolf just like fucking messing with us? I don't know, man. I wake up every day thinking I'm just gonna I don't know. I mean, you know, I just I'm just staring at that album of whale and thinking, why is there no Cody Wolf album behind you? I gotta send you some songs. I gotta send you an album. Yeah, yeah. You you do that. You send me one. Yeah, there's there's only places for greats on that wall behind me, Bubba. I should be right there next to. I should be on your fucking country music Mount Rushmore, right next to Trey Lewis and and Waylon and and Willie. Yeah, Trey's Where not on. Willie? Trey, I love him to death, but he knows he ain't on my fucking Mount Rushmore. But that's my dude. <laughs> but that that's my dude though. Well, I get. And that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, I just, like, even you got 57,000 followers. Fuck no, I don't. I got, like, 600,000 followers. On you count Insta Twitter, on you, you count fucking, yeah. On Instagram, what I'm looking at is 57,000. That's that's three times what I got. I mean, it's impressive. Right. It's impressive. But, like, I just don't see... If I was to click on your followers, are I going to see any Muhammad or Rasheens or anything like that, like any bought followers? On my follower, Muhammad? Fuck no, dude. That dude does my merch. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real fucking account, bro. I'm not even fucking lying with you. Yeah. You think I'm, I'm so lying right now? Well, I mean, I'm just looking at the account, and that's, I'm just trying I to I just had a meet with him, dude. He sells flannel shirts. Like, we're doing a whole fucking merch line. With Mohammed and me, yeah, yeah. You you might have been touched by Tism, and I, the joke might be on me here. Uh, but no, like you even got a fucking fat ass Sprinter van. Well, let me. I know when I first reached out to you, I saw where you had a message on here. It's not anymore, but you were quitting music. What made you decide to fucking quit music? And now I guess you're not quitting no more. By the way, I woke up one day and I was like, "Why am I?" Chartering a private jet to go to Publix when I could freaking be helping the homeless or be doing this. You know, I could be doing so much more things with my time than, uh, you know, doing than doing stuff that really mattered. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to do some, some stuff for charity. So I did a little bit of that and I did some soul searching and figured out if music was really something I wanted to do. And when you did that soul searching to see if it was something you actually needed to do, what did you come back with? Fuck yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what your soul said. I can't said? not do it. That's what my soul said, yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing you don't live in Nashville no more though. Oh, I'm all over the place, man. I'm kinda like COVID. Yeah, I guess if you got a <laughs> private jet, you can do whatever the fuck you want, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so just go ahead and tell me, what did it actually cost you to rent that private jet to go take pictures in? I didn't fucking take pictures in it, man. I'm telling you right now. I flew to Publix. I took some pictures in it. I took. <laughs> I came back. Uh, well, I'd say at least. Uh, Come on, I'm man. not Come. giving you. I'm not going to give you a number. Fuck no. And how do you know I'm not in it right now? I could be. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> you know why? You know why? Because the guy who's got a fucking private jet and access to one doesn't say that he's going to Publix. That is true. Why yeah. not? Why wouldn't somebody be like, fuck Whole Foods right now. I just want a good Publix 
basket of chicken or something. Yeah, I don't no? know. Kroger? Yeah. I, 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 you've I, never I, gone to Kroger. You've never been like, all right, I'm waking up. It's like 3 a.m. I want to go to Kroger. I'm just going to go to the BNA and fucking get in a jet. Yeah, I don't think that that's the way that that works or the reasoning behind it is sound at all. Like, well, I, I, I think I, whatever you want, man, but like I get well, okay, okay. I'll tell well, you, let, you, well, let, let me you why you said you mentioned me, you're not the number one podcast. I'm not, you're not the number one podcast. So, exactly. So, if you're not the number one podcast, fucking you, you just can't fucking afford this shit, dude. Ah, oh, you're right. I can't, but even if I, I could, said, I, I said it right do, now. You can't have. fucking afford this shit. What? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, even if I could afford it, you I wouldn't can't fucking, fucking do it. No, no, I want you to fucking admit it. You can't afford to be Cody Wolf Woo. because you are not the number you know one what? podcast. I can't, I can't afford to imagine to be Cody Wolf because I'd actually like to be fucking successful. <laughs> yeah. No, are I you mean, serious? Are if you if that if serious? that's what if that's what you want to do, like I just if you're if your your talent's supposed to speak for itself, like. I, it's just a sh like you can see through the shit, dude. I just don't know why you would want to do that. There's no way you fucking took a private jet anywhere. There's no way. There's there's just I don't know why you wouldn't just be like regular ass Cody Wolf from Connecticut. Why you got to fucking take pictures on a plane that somehow you jumped on for five seconds? Probably probably like fucking just completely broke the law by getting on it. Somebody just didn't know you were there. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, know. All right, you got me. It was my fake jet with my fake merch guy Muhammad, and my fake. Uh, you know, it's just, it's all fake. It is. That's what. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, who's Cody Wolf? Because that shit on social media has got to be fake. I am fucking Cody Wolf, man, and I will bring you to fucking BNA, and I'll take you on that fucking jet. I will tell you. You fucking serious right now? Are you fucking playing? Are you serious? I'll tell you what. I've got a solid gold weight, heavyweight championship belt back here. You pull up in Nashville next week while we're there, and I'll bring that solid gold belt signed by Hulk Hogan, and I'll give it to you. You fly in. Next week. Prove... Fuck, I don't have time for that. Let me uh, Let me ask you this. Where are you even from? I will fucking fly there. Yeah, I'm in Georgia. If you ain't got time to fly to DNA, <laughs> how you gonna fly to fucking Georgia, Hoss? Oh, I'll fly to Georgia. It's not Nashville. It's not Nashville right now. Yeah, they like real country music there sometimes. So yeah, I can see why you wouldn't want to be there. Look, Nashville doesn't know real country music. You, you even said it yourself. Trey Lewis, Dick Down in Dallas, all that shit. Like up yours, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of fake ass country there. Especially if you really think good. I'm fucking fake. Especially if you fucking think I'm fake with the fucking jet, with the fucking all that shit, the freaking CMA banner, like dead ass for real. Yeah, the CMA shit, you definitely would not be my profile picture. There's no way that you had anything to do with CMAs. Of course. Who do you think that that they're? Uh, who do you think they can count on, dude? If there's anybody that the CMA can count on, Cody Wolf, to bring back country music. I mean, you see maybe, what's happening right now with the CMA? I mean, you might be able to. Pick Don't you up think that they need to bring country back? Like, what the fuck is that shit? Hell, if I was in there, I'd get up and walk out myself. I'm not even lying, man. The only thing CMAs are probably counting on you for is to clean up the trash after everybody else is gone. But I guess you're talking about bringing country back. That's got to be the song that you've got that's coming out or out now, right? I got yeah, bringing country back is my song. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking bring country back. You gonna bring country back with that? Yes. That's the that's the that's the cross you're gonna down right there. The hill you're gonna down is that. You got it. Hey, if you're gonna stand by it, stand by it, dude. You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? Because I think I think we'll end this in a minute. I think I'm gonna challenge you to something. I never challenged ever a guest on this show before but i'll tell you what we're in nashville one week out of every month and you might be too busy with your big shows and your new song and and all your social media followers and your all that shit next week to come but you ought to come one week when we're there and i'll tell you what i'll 
I'll put you in a room with some folks and let, and let's see, let's see who writes the best song. Let, let's see who's actually talented. <laughs> in. Are you fucking serious? I'm serious. All right. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. I could, have, I could, I could blow half these motherfuckers out of the water. Come on now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll even take it a step further. I'll put you on my fucking rounds that we record for this podcast at Live Oak. I'll put you on one yeah, of them. Them. And I'll put you on there, and I'll sit you next to people that's got number ones, and we'll, we'll put you on. We'll put you right here next to a Bobby Pinson or Jason Michael Carroll or a Trey Lewis. We'll sit you You're right You're going to put me there. next to a Bobby Pinson. You're going to fucking put me next to Bobby Pinson. That's my dude, yeah. Or yeah. Trey Lewis. Yeah. I'll blow him out of the water. Clean out of the water. Yeah, yeah. You got a better chance actually having a fucking private jet before that happens. So is that a real challenge? You're gonna, I'm you're serious. Gonna I'm 1,000%. Right. I will put you on stage with them. And uh, I'll, I'll put up something like $1,000. $1,000 probably means shit to you. That's like one stake. I'll put up, but that's a, that's a lot of money to me. I'll put up that and my belt back here. I'll put it up if you if you will play one song better than either. I, I, I want to say Trey Lewis because I think Trey would probably do this. I put you head to head. Think Trey would do it. You can't get Bobby either, huh? <laughs> can't get it. Yeah, Bo Bobby's played several of my shows. That's one of my dudes. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. If I brought this to Bobby, he'd laugh his ass off to start off with, but then he'd say, "Fuck it, let's teach the boy a lesson." Look, he ain't teaching me shit. I got it. And I got that fucking belt buckle. That's what I got. <laughs> yeah, right. You put me you up better, next to any of them. You better go tell another goddamn lie on social media. <laughs> yeah, you got a better chance of writing a fucking number one song than actually pulling that shit off. You tell Bobby Pinson I'll blow his crusty ass off stage. I got <laughs> this. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll be more than happy to send that clip to him. Then you know what he's gonna say. And that, and that fucking Trey Lewis dude too, like whoever the fuck he is. I don't even. I I I I, I seen scrolling by a couple times, but you know, like, what the fuck? Put yeah, I you know, like I honestly, I can fucking outwrite those guys. I got you. Actually, you, I don't think Trey can even write. To be honest with you, I think did somebody else write his song? Uh, I I'm sure, I think he's got a big ass Cole Swindell cut right now. What do you got? I got a private jet. Yeah, you got fucking dreams and delusion is what the fuck you got. <laughs> you know, why couldn't you start it off with like a little Cessna plane? Why'd you have to just go ahead and tell a whole ass fib that you had a private jet? It ain't a fib, dude. I fucking, I got it. I got the shit. Okay. Well, let's so see. You pull up right downtown. We'll get them to clear all the cars for you right down Broadway. It's Cody Wolf making his grand fucking appearance. Listen to me. You're gonna need you. You got me out fucking live, Oak. You're gonna need to go and rent a road closure permit through the state, through the <laughs> town of Nashville, through Metro, through Metro. Get that fucking thing through Metro. And I want, I want at least. What are we gonna need? We're gonna need at least eighteen spots reserved. I want six on one side for one bus, and then maybe six on the other for another one. The and only I, I gotta fucking have bus that you need is the short right? bus, dude. The only bus you need is the goddamn short bus. That's all you're going to need. I'm looking up right now my next date for Live Oak, and I'm going to let you headline it. It is May the 8th. May 8th. May 8th. You got over a month. Over a month. If you And I can tell you, if you actually show up, that belt shirts. If you even just show the fuck up, you don't even have to, because you're obviously not going to sing or outright them guys. But yeah, yeah, you you do. <laughs> you you tickle me. It's just funny. It's just fucking funny to me. I don't fucking believe that any of those guys will be there. I don't even fucking think they listen to this podcast. Oh yeah, because none of them have been on it. Not the first fucking time. <laughs> I've never heard of you, Jerry. Seriously. Oh, that's okay, Wolfie. <laughs> Because a lot more people say my goddamn name than they say yours. I don't know about that. Like, yeah, I've never even fucking heard it. Like, I'm, seriously, I was like, "Who's this guy?" Yeah. Like, like and then I, you know, you want to know what ca caught my attention? And I'll tell you one thing: it's about damn time you got a real country star on this show because half of these people you marry, or I mean, 
half these people that you have on this this fucking podcast, dude, they're freaking eating hot dogs on Broadway and fucking pissing out their asshole. Sounds like, like you. The sounds, fuck is that shit? Sounds God like goddamn time you got a real episodes. fucking star on here. Sounds like they've listened. You've listened to a couple fuck episodes no. there, Wolfie. Fuck no, dude. I mean, they're, yeah, they're yeah, just coming you through. Know and, that nah, at all. Fuck. Yeah, I tell you what, Wolf. That you come May the eighth. You be there May eighth. I'll put you on it. Besides that, I don't know how full of shit you are. This is kind of a waste of my fucking time. May the eighth. You got it fucking fair and square, dude. Yeah, I'll do we'll, it. I'll be we'll there. Fucking see. I'll guarantee you won't fucking show up. Your your or your plane had engine troubles or some bullshit like that, or the short bus couldn't fucking take you there this time. The short bus. Yeah. Listen, fucking. No, I'm probably man. gonna I get. Got, I, got, kind of, I got. A Prevo H3 Featherlight, all right? Yeah, you H3 have a fucking Featherlight. learning Prevo. disability is what the fuck you have. All right. Yeah. You say you say that, but you're from Georgia. What the fuck is that shit? What do you mean, what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> yeah. You you know what you're doing? You're trying to rob me. Do right I have now. to talk slower? Look, oh, do I, no. I got to talk slower? No, I got to talk I don't, slower. I, just, I don't think you have to talk no more, to be fucking honest with you. I think that's enough for me. Uh, I appreciate you doing this for a little while. I'll let my song listen here, motherfucker. I will let my songs do the talking. I will let my songs do the talking. Boy, if that's the I will bring country back to that 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 live oak. I will bring country back there. If we leave it up, live maple, live oak, whatever fuck it is. If we leave it up for your songs to do the talking, it's gonna be a whole fucking case of Helen Keller and country music, buddy. So bring that. I'm better back. without you bringing me down. Bro. Hey, you have a fucking good one. Thank y'all for listening to Josh J podcast. We'll see y'all later.